Hi gang. I'm not going to read Michael Rosen poem today. I'm going to read um, a poem by Shelley called Ozymandias. And I, I'm very fond of this poem because I first met it when I had to read it at a Cambridge interview when I was about 18. I'd never seen it before and I didn't get into Cambridge so I couldn't have read it very well. But I do love it. And I'm reading it because it, the poem is about how something that seems huge and significant at the moment in time has no significance and disappears in time. So while we're all stuck indoors and, and waiting for this coronavirus to end, it seems a, the appropriate sort of poem because it will end. It will end and it'll go. Glasses on. I met a traveller from an antique land who said, to vast and trunkless legs of stone stand in the desert. Near them, on the sand, half sunk, a shattered visage lies whose frown and wrinkled lip and sneer of cold command tell that its sculpt to well those passion red which yet survives stamped on these lifeless things. The hand that mocked them and the heart that fed. And on the pedestal these words appear my name is Ozymandias, King of Kings. Look on my works, you mighty, and despair. Nothing else remains. Round the decay of that colossal wreck, boundless and bare, the lone and level sands stretch far away. So this great King of Kings who told everybody, look, look what I've got and, and despair at my power. All that's left of him, a, uh, a statue, but just his two legs and his face in the sand. So give it time, all this will pass.